Hey, what up America? This is your boy Bouchon Glover, Better Black America TV on YouTube. Today is Wednesday, September 11, 2019. And today we, we're going to talk about politics because politics is, is uh, very important, but in the black community, it's something that we feel like we don't have uh, a voice or it doesn't matter, uh, but we're going to have to change our tone because if we want things to change in our community, especially our urban communities, and therefore, we're going to have to get involved because the only way that resources uh, get funneled into communities is through politics. And uh, that's sad, but that's the truth. So we're going to have to start on a grassroots level moving forward from the city council to the, our local elected officials in terms of Congress, so on and so forth. But we are uh, developing an independent brand outside of the two party system. Not the American Independent Party, but nonpartisan independents, NPP, no party preference voters, because uh, regardless of which administration is in office, we should still should be able to you know, at least be a pond on their chess board because it's better to be on the board than to not even be on the board at all. So the question is, who are we voting for? That's the question. Who are we voting for? Let me take some coffee, man. It's early in the morning on the West Coast. So who are we voting for now? A lot of people, you know, really stay away from politics. A lot of people are, you know, the barbershops, the, the community, they're talking. But when I ask this question, you know, people are dumbfounded. They, they sit back and say, oh, I, I don't know yet. So we don't know who we're voting for. So if that's the case, then how do we think that, you know, someone on the Democratic side can actually defeat Donald Trump? Now, me personally, I don't think, you know, if I was an odds maker, I would give Trump, you know, hundred to one odds that he will win because look what they got for us because trending in the polling, the number one, the number one person right now that they, that the, the projectors in the democratic party think that can actually beat Donald Trump is Joe Biden. And I'm going to tell you what the black community think of Joe Biden. We call Joe Biden a slave master. Because Joe Biden, Joe Biden wrote the 94 crime bill, you know, he taught and told Hillary Clinton what to say to sell the bill, you know, that we're super predators and we need to be brought to heel. And we know a lot of shout doubt that that bill decimated the communities of color and that community decimated our future when it comes to our leadership. Because when I came home from college, wasn't nobody was there. So we were just pretty much led astray, running amok and just did what we chose to do because there was no leadership because they locked up the crack addict. They locked up the dope dealer. And somehow you just got caught up. OK, back in those days, they were just rounding us up. And when you look at the percentage of blacks in this country, some, you know, I would say on average, 13 percent and slash that in half and 6% being men. And then we make up 40% of the prison population. And then we're promoting a pride and a gay movement. So we're not reproducing. So this is, you know, that be, was a part of the genocide movement. And that's what the, the trouble is moving forward. So we got to get back to family. You know, we got to get, you know, we got to, we got to heal from, from, from our, our endeavors, from your post-traumatic slave disorder, from the crab bucket syndrome, because we have to, to survive, we have to convince black men to reproduce with black women and make babies and help the next generation moving forward. Like Frederick Douglass said, it's better to bring, uh, to be, to build strong children than to rebuild broken men. So I don't know if, if the black community will rally you know, around the slave master. And I'm just basically saying what the just word on the streets, what the streets are, what the streets are saying, uh, slave master Joe Biden and, and uh, President Trump calls him Sleepy Joe. Now, Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders got great ideas, but people got to understand what socialism is. Socialism is the first phase to communism. OK, now I saw that uh, Joe Biden, I mean, not Joe Biden, but Bernie Sanders was well, sat down with Cardi B, but Cardi B don't understand as hard as she works and, and her husband offset as hard as they, they work. I'm not sure if that was her husband's name, but as hard as they work, the money that they receive, if, if we became a socialist society, that they will take your money and give it to people that didn't work as hard as you and, and not deserving to have that. So socialism would never rock because socialism will destroy any form of generational wealth. So the Bible says a good man leaves his children's children's and inheritance. But when you talk about socialism, no, you know, they want to take from the rich and give to the poor. But we 
want to teach a man how to fish. We want to develop the next generation of the workers, the next generation of, of, of our legislation, the next generation of, of our culture and community and and get them to understand trade and get them to understand you know how you know the purpose if you're going to college you, you are you going to pursue a job that requires a college degree if you are not looking for those type of jobs to go into trade and then we have to bridge the gap socially and economically we got to stop gang banging we got to stop killing each other we got to heal once again from crab bucket syndrome once again from post-traumatic slave disorder so therefore socialism is not the way to go because america is a capitalist society america is a republic i didn't say republican i said republic to the republic for which it stands one nation under god and is god fearing so therefore we're going to have to you know be honest with ourselves because there's no way we'll vote for a socialist that's closer to 80 in age than he is 70 because you know they don't care about the years down the road if it doesn't work because the 94 crime bill seemed like a good idea but look what it did to the community so if socialism turned out to be bad he won't be nowhere around to even see the effects of it because it's not going to affect him that's just an angle that he's using to 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 motivate and to get an audience and to get voters but i don't think it's going to happen kamala harris the Jewish community is upset at Kamala Harris because they thought that, you know, she would trend and she would get the black vote. But she has as getting backlash. She's plummeting in the polls because Kamala Harris, uh, things are coming out. You know, I've seen hashtag 2020. I heard people call her a concubine. You know, we'll talk about that down the road because the truth will come out about her background. And then a lot of people want to know who's her husband. You know, who is Mr. Harris? But sad to say, there's no Mr. Harris, some white dude named Doug, not black Doug, white Doug. But moving forward, we're going to talk about it. Cory Booker. Will the community get behind Cory Booker? I think not because Cory Booker is not not only is he single, but his sexuality is questionable as well. His sexuality is questionable as well. You know, they tried to put, you know, some things out there. This Cory Booker's girlfriend tried to put him with Gail King and that Rosario. I, f I forget her last name, you know, but nobody's buying that. So Cory Booker, could you imagine the president of the United States being single and suspect at the same time? You know, so stay tuned and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, because down the road, we're going to peel back every presidential candidate layer by layer. And that includes the president, President Donald Trump as well. So we, we're you know, we're independent. We're an independent brand. There's no way we're going to, you know, not be honest and not tell the truth about what's going on. So Cory Booker got is, is suspect in his sexuality, which is OK, because uh, Booty Bud, you know, he's openly gay. So if you're gay. Go ahead and run for president as a gay president. But Cory Booker and I, and, and I, I got proof and I will I will show you why he's suspect. I can't, you know, put it on him like that. But I will give you the information as to why, you know, the rumblings and people are saying that he is OK down the road. Now, Pocahontas, I don't think so. But Marion Williamson, you know, she's a black representative. She's the one talking about reparations. So look her up, Marion Williamson. And she she has uh, talked to white people and she's basically saying that they need to apologize to black people. She's talking about reparations and she talks. She, she basically states that that's that was promised. Forty acres in a mule was promised. So but we're going to uh, down the road, we're really going to um, look at these candidates under a microscope and we're going to be fair and honest because right now we're living in times of deceit. And just basically merely telling the truth is revolutionary during the times of deceit. So who are you voting for? Go ahead and comment, you know, uh, say whatever you need to say. Give me the links, whatever, because we're going to be um, having our own town hall meetings moving forward. And we're going to talk about the black condition and we're going to talk about black reconstruction of how we're going to uh, bridge the gap socially and economically in America without asking, you know, for handouts. OK, so that's how it's going to be moving forward. So today is Wednesday, uh, September 11th, 2019, exactly 18 years ago, uh, the 9-11 attacks happened. And, you know, much respect to people that lost their lives and that's still um, going through issues based on uh, what happened uh, exactly 18 years ago today. So with that being said, have a great day. A better black America. I'm your boy, Bouchon Glover, signing out. Have a good day.